Hey guys, this is this week's cash stuffing. Once again, I'm quite late in the week, but I'm still going to do it because, yeah, I need to do it. Keeps me on track. I had the intention of doing more with cash anyway, and I've also made myself some new envelopes. So here I am doing this week's cash stuffing. I have got my money to stuff I think in my back to bank so I've made a back to bank envelope and I've got quite a bit to stuff today actually so I'll pop that there so we have 200 which is my usual what I stuff on a weekly basis that's the first part of it. <laughs> so it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. And then I've also got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 50, 60, so 360. I have just decided to stuff a lot more of my money. So I may have left this in the bank or paid it straight off to debt. But at the moment, I'm trying to build up my cash reserves and my savings, not savings like long term savings, but kind of like emergency funds and things that I savings for expenses. So my sinking funds. This money came from TikTok, so from the Creator Fund. I also have some money from Etsy here. I withdrew a little bit from my business, which is where my Instagram work goes. I've done a couple of market research bits of work as well. So they've been paid to me. And so, yeah, this is basically side hustle money for a month. So I'm going to add that to my 200 that I would usually stuff. So I'm going to just organise these. So that will give me total of £560, which I don't think I've ever stuffed that much money in one go before. So yeah, as I say, I've got some new envelopes, which I'll take you through. And I'm definitely leaning towards just working in cash a bit more than I have been. I've always had this kind of hybrid cash stuffing and envelopes in my online bank accounts. But in reality, I do think that this is better for me anyway. I haven't gone over budget from having the money in my bank account, but I just don't feel quite as in control as I could be. I've started using these Budget with Ira envelopes in my purse, which also helps me actually use cash when I'm out. So food has been used up. I've still got 20 there in social. Petrol, that's 20, I think, or maybe it's 10. That's 20 in there for petrol and spending's got 10. So I have these on me, um, which is good, actually, because it means whereas before I would pay with my card when I was out, if I'm somewhere that does take cash, um, I'm inclined to think, oh, OK, I've got this money here. And sometimes it actually stops me and I go, do you know what? I don't need that coffee or whatever it is. So, yeah, these are here. I know sometimes people when they're doing their envelopes, take money out of these and like start again. But I'm going to just leave what's in there there for now and just not stuff that much more. So anyway, let's get started. I'll move that over there. I, as always, I'm going to do my spending first. And just for anyone who's new, I have all my bills come out as direct debit. So this is just the money that isn't for my bills. So food, as I mentioned, this is completely empty and I've got none in here either. I want to do a bit of a decent food shop. I did 30 quid in Aldi the other day, but we need more again. And I'm going to put 50 in, which is quite a lot for me um, for a week. But yeah, as I say, I want to top up the cupboards a bit with some certain things. So that's 50 in food. Petrol, I'm going to put 10 in. I have got 20 here. So I've got, yeah, 20 in petrol. I, at the moment, have a courtesy car. 
because my car was smashed into. I'm going to leave that there because I'm going to put it back in my wallet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put 10 in petrol. Because my, somebody crashed into my car, it's been fixed in the garage. I've got a courtesy car at the moment. They called me today to say that we're going to switch over. My car isn't completely fixed, but because of everything going on with car parts, it's going to take, take such a long time for them to get the panel. They've asked if I want to have my car back, even though it will have a dent in it still, until the until the panel arrives. And I said yes, because, you know, it's just, even though it's not on my insurance, because it wasn't my fault, I just think it's a shame to be hiring a car when my one does work. It's just got a dent in it. Um, so school, I had about £60 in here before and I've only got 30 so I spent £50 on my son's school trip. I've been topping up the school trip like every kind of week so that it's paid. Um, so I've got £30 remaining. I'm going to just put another 10 in and then I can do build it up for the next payment for the school trip. The school trip's not till next year, but you know, I do think it's quite good the school's done it and sort of let like you can pay however much you can whenever you can or want to. Cleaner. It's gonna get her usual 50. Uh, someone commented on a video about my cleaning expense um, and thought that 200 pounds budgeting is a lot for a month. Yeah, so it's four hours a week that my cleaner comes for, in case anyone was wondering. Travel's got 20 in and doesn't need any for now. I've got a couple of places I need to go, but the travel expenses will come under my business expenses, so I wouldn't use my own personal cash for it. I've got a separate business account that would pay for the train. This is a new one. So for anyone who follows me on Instagram, you see that therapy but anyone who follows me on instagram will have seen that i have put myself back into therapy part of this money journey has just made me realize that i need to do some therapy <laughs> obviously i got myself into a lot of debt very quickly um, i don't really want to have therapy about the debt but now the debt is starting to be in control and my money isn't such a worry for me i've realized that when that's removed there's something else that i'm kind of worrying about so i thought it'd be a good idea I have decided to do therapy and this is not cheap. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1 and 5. So it's going to be £105 a week, which kind of petrifies me because it's a lot of money. In order for me to maintain kind of paying my debt off as quickly as possible and have this new expense, which is a lot, I am going to have to continue to make a bit of extra money on side hustles. But I do think this is really important and I'm sure lots of you who are watching will be like, how on earth can this woman spend £105 a week on therapy? <laughs> because that's a lot of money. There's different things that people spend their money on and this is what I have decided to spend mine on. Days out. Hasn't got any in, but I'm not going to put any in there either. We've got a few things planned, but they've all been sort of prepaid. All there to do with my Instagram self-care what have we got in here so self-care i did use up quite a lot it had a good amount of money in it before i had 80 pounds it's got 40 now i don't think it had 80 pounds i think it had more than that um, and i just forgot to update this <laughs> so i've spent about 80 pounds out of this um envelope i am going to top this up with another 20 that's to go towards getting my hair done in december And obviously, I'm not sure what my, what my intentions are with my nails, but I might get my nails done again. So that's self-care. I've also made a new folder here called Fitness. So this isn't an immediate plan, but I want to put £10 in to this fitness folder. And I... Like I say, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't got a particular plan, um, but I want to start saving towards possibly a personal trainer or something. But I want to get a bit of therapy under my belt. And then maybe when the therapy's done or maybe when the therapy slows down, because at the moment I'm going to have it every week, but I could go to once every other week. And then I might have enough money built up in fitness to maybe get like a personal trainer or something. 
social. I'm not going to put any in. I do have this envelope here and that's got 20 in. So I'm going to put that in my purse. Eating out. I'm going to skip for now as well. Again, we haven't really got any plans to eat out anytime soon. So I'm going to just leave that for now. Spending has got 20 in and then I've got 10 in this here. So that doesn't need any. Miscellaneous. Check what I've got in here. 20. So that, hmm, I used some of the miscellaneous money in the last week as well. I can't quite remember what, oh, no, I've written it down somewhere. Back to bank is obviously where I've taken that money out of. I'm going to actually take this food money out. Put it in my lovely budget with Ira envelope and put it in my purse. So that is my spending binder done. So after having done my spending, I'm just going to count up what I've got left over. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105 is left. just said 105 can you tell how tired I am my voice is definitely like a bit slow a bit quiet it's not 105 it's 305 <laughs> so let's move on to sinking funds so I've got a couple of new envelopes in here as well emergency I've got 600 in the bank I'm going to top emergency up with 50 that's quite a lot compared to what I've been doing I haven't really been putting huge amounts in emergency but I actually have been watching She's on a Budget and she's done amazing at saving up her emergency and I just thought about what should that be um, to make me really comfortable if something was to happen I would I would be okay and not kind of get into trouble with my bills or have to go back to credit card and I actually thought I want I want an ideal world I want this to be three months worth of bills which would be £9,000, which is obviously a lot of money. So I've decided to start stuffing that a little bit quicker when I can. So there's £50 that week, which will bring it to 650 total, which already makes me feel really comfortable compared to where I've been before. But as I say, my bills per month are around 3000 So £9,000 is my target. I have no idea when I'll get, that, get to there. Car maintenance has got 180 in the bank. I'm popping in another 20. Health. I can't remember how much I've got in here, but I think it's kind of fully, fully stuffed. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. And 150 in the bank. I've got no, I'm still, still, still trying to get to the dentist and have some tests done but that will cover it so I'm not going to stuff anything extra in there today. This is a new one so it says tutoring. This again is not an immediate kind of need or something that I have any actual plans but my son is interested in having a little bit of extra support possibly. He's still very young um, but I thought I would start putting some money to one side in case that is something that he feels he needs or his teacher feels he needs or I feel he needs. Or my daughter, in fact. I just thought at some point, because they have missed so much of school, I would like to be able to do this for them. But obviously at the moment I can't. And so this is the sort of me starting to think about getting myself into this position where possibly I'll be able to. Obviously it does depend. This is all money that's from my side hustles so if they vanished then I wouldn't be putting anything in here so it's kind of a, a future thing house I have nothing in the house so I had 130 in the bank but I spent a hundred no I had more than 130 I'm really sorry guys I haven't updated these I've been so busy I had to, about 200 for house and I've spent it all because I built a new wardrobe for my children so I'm really pleased that I managed to save that up over the last few months and then use it for something that was on my list to do in my house. 
they've got so much more space now for their clothing and it's working really well so I'm really really happy that I've done that but I've put in 40 to top that back up because there's lots of our little projects in the house that I want to tackle so that I'm going to keep building that up and then do these things when I've got the time I've got a tech folder so this isn't anything specific but I do like a bit of tech and I you know could get better lights or something for my videos I just thought I would start putting some money to one side for when the next tech thing comes out that I am convinced I desperately need it doesn't mean that I'll necessarily spend it but it just is nice to have a little bit of savings building up beauty is a new folder I made but I'm not going to put anything in there at the moment events and gigs is something that I've made this folder because I'd like to start doing things like this again I never really got back into going to music and stuff really since um, everything has been obviously closed for what 18 months two years but I don't have any plans to do anything right now but I just made the folder so that it's in my mind and I'm thinking about it for the future but I'm not going to stuff any money in there at the moment gifts I have spent some money from here because my friend went my friend my daughter went to her friend's birthday party so I've only got 10 left in there now but I don't think we've got anything else coming up now until next year so I'm going to just leave the 10 for now Christmas this is this is my exciting little Christmas fund so I've got 15 pounds saved for next Christmas I am going to put another five in there so that's 20 pounds saved for next Christmas which just feels amazing like I just can't believe I'm putting five pounds away for next Christmas when this time last year I had never saved a penny in my life for anything charity I've got 20 I haven't um put I uh, haven't got a plan for that but I've seen there's a new app I'll try and link it below actually in the um description there's an app where people can say if they really need help with a food shop and then people other you can see who's in your area or you can read the story as to why they are um, asking for help obviously it's all anonymous and then you can buy some vouchers for the supermarket that they prefer and the app the app or the website sort of sends them to them on your behalf so i was thinking i might use this money for that i'd probably need to top it up a little bit but i'm not going to today family holiday these are the envelopes that i've made so these are sinking funds but very sort of future looking sinking funds i would at some point like to start saving up for a family holiday i'm actually going to put 30 pounds in there now guys if for any reason my money goes down obviously or i get myself into trouble or whatever i'm not gonna go and spend on a credit card when i've got this money here i would take it out of here if I needed to for, for a different priority, but the aim is obviously to leave it in here. So £30 is my little start for family holiday. Travelling is me going places on my own. So I did a TikTok video. I have booked some uh, Eurostar tickets to go to Paris. I've never been to France before. And I'm going with a friend. It was her idea. And I remembered I had these uh, vouchers for Eurostar. So I bought my ticket and hers. And she gave me the cash for her ticket and I used the vouchers. So this is the cash that she gave me for her ticket. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So what I'm going to do is put that whole 120 that I've had almost like a refund back from the vouchers because I used the vouchers for her ticket. I'm going to put that in my travelling folder, which is about me going places on my own without the children. And that will be my spending money for Paris I think we're going to look at like staying in a hostel or something we're going to do it as cheap as we can but that is money set aside for Paris then guys this is really <laughs> out there but I've actually made a folder uh, sorry an envelope for loft because I would love to convert my loft into a bedroom for my son and another one for office because I work from home and I would I dream of having a little office in the garden at the bottom of the garden. So 
I just thought I'd make those envelopes again forward looking thinking about the future I'm not putting any money in there at the moment I don't think I'm going to save all the money to do a loft conversion in one of these folders <laughs> but I've done it made it put it there so it's in my mind I see it every time I stuff my envelopes and it reminds me of what this is all about and why I was trying to get out of debt uh, in the first place oh my purse isn't doing up there we are so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed that again let me know if you've got any questions I have been crazy busy this week, but I'm going to try and get much, much better at replying to all of your messages on my YouTube videos and Instagram and TikTok. So thank you so, so much for engaging. I really, really appreciate all of your support, the views, the following, um, any comments and likes and all of that sort of stuff is just, it's amazing. I feel so supported and obviously it helps the channel grow as well, which is absolutely amazing. So Thank you very, very much. I hope you're all having a good week and sticking to your budgets. Yeah, just good luck with, with whatever sort of financial goals you've got for this week. And I'll speak to you soon.